Hi guys, this is Sarfraz from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question 82 from the OG 13 critical reasoning chapter. So the stimulus says, in physics journals, the number of articles reporting the results of experiments involving particle accelerators was lower last year than it had been in previous years. So the number of articles which uh, uh, report uh, uh, experiments involving particle accelerators, such articles or the number of these articles has gone down. Several of the particle accelerators at major research institutions were out of service the year before last for repairs. So it is likely that the low number of articles was due to the decline in availability of particle accelerators. It's a very straightforward causality argument. The argument clearly says the cause is the low availability of particle accelerators. The effect is uh, the reduction in the number of articles which mention particle accelerators. Simple causality argument and it will definitely ask you to weaken the argument as happens in most causality questions. Yes, it does. It says which of the following more seriously undermines the argument. And to undermine the argument for a causality, remember the best way is to show that something else can also lead to the same effect. So one of the options will typically tell you that there could have been some other reason for the decline in the number of articles which mention particle accelerators uh, and that will be the answer. So let's go through the options. A says every article based on experiments with particle accelerators that was submitted for publication was actually published. If anything it strengthens the argument. B says the average time scientists must wait for access to a particle accelerator has declined over the last uh, several years. It doesn't help at all. I mean it doesn't weaken the argument by any stretch. I think it's irrelevant mostly. C says, the number of physics journals was the same last year as in previous years. Again, it could actually strengthen the argument. Number of journals is the same, but number of articles has gone down. Why has it happened? D says, particle accelerators can be used for more than one group of experiments in any given year. Tells you nothing actually. So whatever E says will be the answer to the question. E will most definitely give you another explanation for uh, the reduction in the number of articles. E says, recent changes in the editorial policies of several physics journals have decreased the likelihood that articles concerning particle accelerator research will be accepted for publication. You see, you have the other reason now. So the reason is not the fall in availability of uh, uh, particle accelerators. The reason is changes in the editorial policies of several physics journals. That immediately weakens your argument. So I think it's a very easy question if you understand causality. It is the most basic of causality questions on a scale of 1 to 5. It would be no more than a 2 or a 2.5. Have a nice day.